Hey everybody, Ryan Camden here with another video for you. Anyway, today I want to do a how-to video on how to change treble hooks. Now this specifically applies to crankbaits. Uh, lots of you crankbait guys uh, probably already deal with this. When you're dragging over lots of cover with a crankbait and you're really digging into the bottom, uh, making those bass react, all your hook point on your crankbait is just digging into the cover and just getting really dull. Um, these hooks right here are on this bomber fret fat free shad and uh anyway they need to be changed they're pretty dull right now i've got uh number four round bends on it and uh, i'm actually going to upsize these hooks because the nice thing i'm going to be putting mustad short shanks on them uh these are the hooks i use they're the kevin van dam elite troubles uh, here i've got them in number four and number two size but basically i'll pull one out let's see so with the shorter shank you know got that gap right there but anyway the shorter shank will allow me how these hooks the whole goal is you don't want them to interlock when you're reeling it in uh if they interlock you've got too big of hooks on there most likely and uh lots of times when you reel it in you're gonna be reeling in nothing because if that fish strikes most likely he's not gonna get the hooks so you want them to be able to uh reel it in without them getting hung together so i'm gonna be upsizing these hooks like i said to number two short shank mustads so uh let's get started and i'll show you how to do it so one thing I like to have is a good set of pliers with the split ring point right there towards the end and it will help you get into the split ring uh, to start taking those hooks off. But pretty much what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your treble hook that you want to change and find the spot on the split ring to where it starts being a gap to where it will come off uh, where the wire ends. So pretty much I'm going to get it to the left side of it. Just kind of manipulate the split ring until you can get over there stick your pliers in there and grab the split ring and pinch down to where it opens up the wire and you start the hook off hope you guys can see that but anyway the hook has started off of the hook and i'm going to kind of rotate the split ring to get more of it off so now it started off and there's a gap in the split ring now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my new treble hook start right where i started that one off and I'm gonna go ahead and feed this one on. Now you can do them separate, but I just found that if you do them on the same gap, it's a lot quicker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start that wire right there and use my hands and kinda just push it on there. So now I'm gonna use the other hook to push the old hook off. Just, there it goes, fell right off, and there you go. You just keep pushing it on until that new hook's on there. Got it brand new nice point there's the old one now let's do the other one get a better look at it so let's get us another hook out now lots of times what i'll do is i keep all my treble hooks and my extra split rings in this little box um anyway so i've got some other size hooks and i need to restock it really but uh i've got extra split rings because lots of times those split rings will get kind of stretched out and stuff and you know that that'd be just the way to lose your big bass is just that split ring popping out on you but Anyway, so we're going to change the other one. So we're going to grab it, that old hook right there, go right to where the split ring ends, kind of manipulate it again to where you can get it off of there. Take your split ring pliers, wedge it right in there. You can take it and start that hook off. Just kind of rotate it a couple more times, getting that hook a little bit started. And you take it again, get right over there. Keep twisting. Now you're gonna get your new hook. Pick up your crankbait again. Go right to where you started that other one off. And just start putting it on there. You just gotta take that little bitty tip right there and start it on that hook. Now this one needs to slide a little bit more. But now lots of baits actually come with pretty good hooks like strike kings i actually don't change the hooks when i pull those out of the package uh, some brands i will change the hooks but uh strike kings usually have pretty good hooks on them when you buy them uh, you want those hooks to be i mean sticky sharp because you don't want to be losing any bass on your hooks uh, anyway so now that we got them both started on there you're going to use this hook like i said before and just keep pushing it off um, basically I'm going to take a little pause right here just to let you get a good look at it. Pretty much this old hook right here needs to slide off while this time is 
coming on. And like I said, you can do it separate, but when you're on the water and you really don't want to waste that much time, you pretty much just need to do it at the same time because it's going to help you just get a lot quicker. Anyway, so I'm going to stick my pliers in there and just keep rotating. Old one pops off, new one's in place, and uh, pretty much now I can explain the short shank thing. These hooks will not come together. I can't, as long as I can't make them hook to each other, then I've got a good size hook on there. But that's your new crankbait. Uh, just changing out the hooks. Uh, definitely going to be able to stick more fish with them, and I'm uh, not going to lose as many. Got both of your old hooks right here. Just throw them in the trash or something. I guess you could sharpen them if you really wanted to, but lots of people, you can just sharpen them while they're on there, but eventually you will have to change them if you want to keep fishing that crankbait and not losing fish. But anyway, I hope you guys learned something and uh, how to change your treble hooks, so definitely give it a try out on the water and uh, go stick a few fish. Anyway, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe uh, for this video, and I uh, hope to get back with you guys with another video. Thanks, and have a great day.